I'm now talking to the governor of Anambra State, the new governor of Anambra State, and the elders that call themselves bishops and archbishops and traditional rulers that are calling and telling our people to come and pray for the unity of Nigeria. It's like you saw our wound and you take a knife and put inside that wound and you are make you are turning the knife into that wound. You tell us to pray for the continued existence of our oppressive enemy. It dawned upon me, it dawned upon me that we, the indigenous people of Biafra, and the new Anambra state governor, together with their council committee of bishops and archbishops and traditional rulers, have a totally opposing objectives. I have a message tonight. I have a message for the new governor of Anambra state and his praying council or praying committee. Praying for the good and well-being of Nigeria is a no-go for us. It is, it is unheard of. It is, it is incomprehensible for the IPOB um, worldwide family. The indigenous people of Yafra cannot and will never allow such travesty to happen in our land going forward. If part of the agenda of the new governor, if I am giving the benefit of doubt here, but if by dint of whatever, part of your agenda is for the continued existence of the damnable evil and backward entity called the Zoological Republic of Nigeria, then then he discovered our governor of Anambra State who will not need any soothsayer to tell him that he is on a direct direct head-on collision course with the indigenous people of Biafra worldwide I said if that is his agenda for the continued existence of the zoo then we have a diametrically opposing objective. And what that means is that he is on a very, very serious head-on collision with IPOB. I will state for the avoidance of doubt, our objective is to dismantle this edifice of Satan that has held us hostage for decades stunting our physical and spiritual development and growth. It is our objective to ensure that Nigeria will not, after the restoration of Biafra, it will not, the name Nigeria will no longer be, in fact, it will be a taboo name. In case, in case they are not aware, if anybody have not told all of you, we, the indigenous people of Biafra worldwide, we are under oath, one singular oath to restore Biafra, the kingdom of Tukwabiyama on earth. If nobody has ever told you, I'm telling you now, we are under oath and Biafra must be restored. We are also under oath to ensure, to secure freedom and liberty for our people. And by doing that, ensure that the zoo called Nigeria ceases to be an entity that will ever, ever oppress any indigenous people anymore found within that artificial contraption. It is therefore very imperative that our objective and position is clearly stated and not be mistaken by any governor or any politician or any clergy or any traditional ruler so that they are properly guided 
in their public actions and in their public utterances. Let me say that it was because of that respect that I earlier alluded to, which we accord our elders, that prevented us from directing our people to ignore such hypocritical prayer for the well-being of our enemy and our oppressor. It was simply because of the respect that our leader has for all these our elders and which we have imbibed. The indigenous people of Biafra will certainly not pray for our subject for our continued sub subjugation. We will certainly not pray for our oppressors to continue to oppress us by asking our ancestors or asking to for that matter that he allows the zoo the edifice of evil the zoological republic to continue in existence we will definitely not be part of that as that is completely opposite to our objective you have now been informed you have now been informed at the end of the day this very broadcast will also be made um will be distributed that people who are not listening tonight they will have the opportunity to listen to it we have now informed you in our in Igbo language we say we have come before equity with clean hands going forward now that we have informed you the leadership of the indigenous people of biafra will publicly direct our people not to pay any heed to such call for prayers for nigeria in the future if ever that repeats itself if that repeats itself we will publicly and openly direct our people properly we will show them leadership on what to do there is an intelligent report at our disposal detailing a plan by the nigerian government to use some civil society organizations and the zoo media to try and hoodwink the international community in a meeting they had today with some of these civil society organizations in that meeting the dss and some other security agencies were in attendance and in that meeting as well they deliberately deliberately um excluded some human rights human rights organizations and civil society civil society organizations such as amnesty international and inter society for civil liberty these two organizations were not invited to this very meeting they were not invited for obvious reasons because these will not be amenable to the evil plans of the Nigerian government. Going and flowing from what transpired at that meeting, IPOB want to use tonight to put the international community on notice, to watch out for the lies that will be rolled out in the coming days and weeks by this lying government in collaboration with some morally decadent civil society organizations and morally deprecate zoo media part of their game plan is to attempt they want to attempt to change the narrative by presenting the victims 
of their atrocities who of course are the indigenous people of Biafra as if we are the aggressors in their attempt as well to divert world attention from the atrocities they are committing in Biafra land on a daily basis and from more atrocities in the pipeline that they are planning to commit in the future they want to divert the attention of the international community and some of of our people are telling us to pray for this for this entity that do not mean well for us it is still fresh in our minds very very fresh that the dss was in position of an intel about the abuja kaduna train bombing in which scores of people were killed and still on a certain number kidnapped the dss the n nigerian security agency they had the intel but what did they do they did nothing because it's part of their plan it is also still fresh in our memories that this same dss had also intelligence that full and literal groups they were planning to attack the mk abiola stadium during a football match between ghana and the zoo they had that intel as well but what did they do the dss very 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 um i i don't i'm i'm short of the proper word to use for them they actually sent out a circle to other government agencies with their usual lies that IPOB planned to attack the stadium when the intel at their disposal clearly revealed that an attack was planned by Fulani terror groups they created a stampede in the stadium the dss now and this resulted in the death of a calf official this is the zoo for you a government an institution or a contraption of evil and wickedness lies they have no honor they have the there has no more shame in them the world community must watch out for more of such lies and propaganda from the zoo republic and its agencies which and who will be working in collusion with some ngos and some CSOs, that is civil, uh, civil society organizations. The world community must be watchful, and of course, we are watchful. The RP will be uh, our end branch, they are doing their marvelous work, and they will continue to do their marvelous work. What they plan in the dark, it will come out in the open. We will expose them with all their lies. And as I'm speaking to you, tonight very terrible things are happening in our land things that when you see them you you are you are asking yourself what 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 creator are these people these people that that call themselves politicians and and and, and political leaders who made them what who made them are they are they really do they really have human sympathy in their in them at all very terrible things are happening in our land just today corpses of three or more women were discovered in all emo state where the supreme court administrator is overseeing the ongoing annihilation of our people women 
who they the whatever the women 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 that you know that the land oh ajana biafra pursue all these people who have turned the land into to be flowing with blood you must pursue them the spirit of the land of our land must pursue them i don't know i don't I, it's not death is not even even they are not even worthy to die when you take into account the the atrocities the evil the wickedness the heartlessness the barbarism of the actions they take against their own people you can't wish them there because they will die it's like it's, it's over but i know that what will be for them like we do always say the ear that hear is it will tingle it will tingle at the appropriate time the supreme court administrator is overseeing unimaginable atrocities in our land houses are burned villages are, are sacked the military are killing like as if they are they are not not even in a war because in a war they are what they call rules of engagement you will spare the, the, the civilians but the civilians our people the civilians the unarmed Biafran people have become their major target because we are not armed that is why they will not go to the north and confront the terrorists they will not go to the north and confront those they call the, the bandits why because you they have the same thing they have either it is out of that fear or because they are all the same working for the same agenda we are also aware i want to state that also tonight we are aware that the nigerian army has been invited into an Anambra state to open up another front of killing spree in our land yet yet someone who claim to be in their right senses they are calling us for prayers they are telling us to pray for these murderers to continue to pray for these these unconscionable people so that they will continue in their state-sponsored act of terror in our land great dear friends you all must be at a lot and be prepared for what is coming and like i said they have all gathered and because their gathering is not of chuko apiyama he will scatter them into the four winds that he has made and into the seven corners of the world they have all gathered and because their gathering is the precursor of our total liberation be prepared for the time ahead of us it may it may be a little bit more difficult but for a very very short period our salvation is around the corner i'm going to make some announcements tonight ipob undertaking document which we have made available to our continental reps worldwide and um, continental reps please this very night make that undertaking available to every national coordinator make that undertaking available to every regional representative and um our regional reps where we have them make them available to your uh to the structures under your authority and under your control or under your jurisdiction 
and national coordinators and state coordinators make the same undertaking available to zonal and unit coordinators. Every principal officer must sign that undertaking and return it to his superior that made it available to him in the first place. We will collect them back and keep it in our archives. To continue our sanitization of this noble family so that we are ready and certain that only hardcore and die hard loyalists of Onyindu and the destructor he established are in this critical battle together with us. Anyone who does not understand what discipline means in a freedom fighting movement such as ours simply has no place in IPOB. You do not belong here. And we do not want you here because you will be the weak link to which the enemy will come in. And we do not want to let any of our flanks open to allow the enemy to come in. Therefore, the following persons who have made their choice by allowing devil to enter them and use them as tools and agents of destabilization of this noble movement these collaborators these infiltrators in our midst claiming to be IPB family members they are as follows and they are hereby expelled from this movement we are sifting out the shark from the wheat and you will count yourself you will count yourself as one of the core at the end of this very process. The names are as follows. Chima Obi Mbama, Anambra South Senatorial Coordinator, Ike Chuku Obiora, known also as El Awel. They have the Elias, he goes by Elijah. He's Ekusigo local government coordinator. Mrs. Chiwe Udebunam, Anambra Central Women Leader. Mark Obolo, Aguata Operative and Commander. Mazi Bob Festus Chukudebelo from Heidenham Unit in Germany. Mazi Chidi Ngene, Kibbad Abu family, and Mazi Erasmus Obogwa as well, Kibbad. These individuals from tonight, they made their own decision. We do not force you if you do not want to belong to this very noble movement. We will allow you to go, but we will not allow you to be in our midst and to be um, the, 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 the bad apple that will affect the other very good apples and, 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 and spoil them. You cannot be in our midst. Therefore, you, you haven't made that decision. You are no longer part of IPOB Worldwide Family. If I may repeat their names again, Chi Maobi Mbama is Anambra South Senator Coordinator. Ike Chukwobiora, known as the Elias of Elijah A. Kusigoluka Government Coordinator. Mrs. Chiwe Udebunam, Anambra Central Women Leader. Mark Obolo, Agwata Commander. Mazi Bob Fistu Chuku Develo is a member of IPOB Heidenheim unit in Germany. Mazi Chedi Ngene is from Cape Verde. That is IPOB family in Cape Verde. And Mazi Erasmus Ogogwa, IPOB Cape Verde. They are no longer part of this noble family. They are expelled. The following persons as well are suspended from their position of service indefinitely they are suspended for acts of indiscipline acts of insubordination we cannot tolerate that if after a 
specific period of time you and you have not purged yourself of your indiscipline we will, we will show you the way we will show you the way that is simple and these people that are suspended are as follows Mazi Emeka Nadi from Enugu North Senatorial, well, he is Enugu North Senatorial Coordinator and his deputy as well, Mazi Eze Malaki. And all those who are working with them that have pawned these very senatorial, um, senatorial uh, 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 region into. Uh, they have turned it into into something that is that is very strange and on IPO. These individuals are suspended indefinitely. Mazi Liberty Aboni, Nsuka Local Government Area Coordinator. Mazi Oluchi Ugu, he was a South Local Government Area Coordinator. And Mazi Chijoke Peter Ata. Also one in local government area coordinator. These five individuals are suspended indefinitely from their positions. After due consultation, new officers will be appointed to replace them. We must continue in our prayers. We must continue to commit on Yendu, our leader, with sincerity of heart, with one purpose, into the hands of our ancestors, the spirits that guard the beautiful land, and into the care of all merciful and almighty Chukotka be our premier in that he and our ancestors may continue to keep him, may continue to preserve him, may continue to pr protect him because it is to to Chukok, it is to him we give glory because he alone has has preserved our leader from the plans of the enemy and we must unceasingly continue to pray that he shall envelop him under his protective wings and turn every plan of the enemy against the Hindu back to those who are planning such evil against him we say back to center we do not pray for our enemies we 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 will not turn our our cheek when you slap us we turn our cheek for you to slap the other one to grab and forbid the land of Yafra will swallow the spirit of our love of answer so we send them after you and to grab shall give you judgment as you desire so we must continue to pray that Elo, that to will continue to Kwabiam, Eke Kreni Abbas, as our other language is calling, will continue to keep him, preserve him, protect him, and grant him victory over our traditions and all workers of evil and anyone or spirit that is standing in our way to freedom. Biafra for us is not just a name. Biafra is not just a name for us. It is more than our heritage. It is more than our identity. Biafra is our being. It is our religion. And it is on this platform that we daily gather to praise Chukwokiki. To him alone we bow our head, the creator of heaven and earth. We answer the name that shows who we are. Chukwode, Chibweze, Chinedum, Chukwemeka, 
all of that name that bring his name glory it is on this platform that we come every night to worship and bow down to him and to him alone we worship and to him alone we bow down to and to him alone we will give glory and praise at the end of all this battle for victory is assured to the children of light thank you for listening from me from here i want to say to you remain tenacious remain focused remain committed do not allow yourself to be distracted we are making great and unbelievable progress in our march to freedom and of course in our um in our work to make sure our leader rejoins us sooner than later may you god be with you all and for me i want to say good night and sleep well thank you Shane.
so the blessings of the Lord they follow us. Anyway we gonna so the blessings of the Lord they follow us. Is